Have you ever wanted to add fog or this dreamy glow to your photos? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how you can do that using Lightroom Classic. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today I have chosen this photo here. Now I've already made a couple changes. I'll just quickly show you here is the before and here is the after. But I really want to add in some fog and also that kind of portraity glow that you can sometimes see some photos on Instagram and also just on the internet overall. So the way to create that kind of natural glow first is we're going to go firstly, drop, go to the develop panel, then open up your basics panel on the right hand side. What we're going to do is drop all the way down to where you can see it says clarity. Now if we go ahead and zoom in, what we'll do is take the clarity slider over to the left hand side so we're reducing clarity. And if we go ahead and really reduce it, we're creating that real nice kind of natural glow that you get uh, and it re works really well with portrait photos. It smooths out the skin and overall just smooths out the overall physique. Now don't drop it too far. I think if you go below minus 20, it makes the photo look so soft it looks blurry. So I wouldn't recommend it dropping it down to let's say below minus 20. Anything beyond that, I think it's a bit too far in my opinion. It may work for your photo but overall a bit too strong. So what I'm going to do for this particular shot, I'm going to go down to minus 20. Let's go ahead and zoom out. So let's go ahead and add in that fog. And we're going to do to create this, we're going to be using a mask. So what we're going to do is go from our sliders. We're going to go over to the right. We're going to go ahead and select our mask. Then what we're going to do is go down to where you can see it says linear gradient. So we go ahead and select that. Now to create fog, all we need to do is go to contrast, drop that down to minus 100. Then we're going to go to where you can see it says texture. Drop that down, clarity, drop that down, and dehaze, drop down by 100. Then sharpness, we're also going to drop that down by 100 as well. And to create the mask, all we need to do is going to go from top to bottom in this shot, click, hold, and as you can see, we've added in this really nice fog. Now, if it's too strong, you can go to the amount slider and drop it down. So we're going to go right to the top, go to where you can see it says amount, and we're going to go ahead and drop that down. Now, if you drop it down all the way to zero, removes that effect, but if you go ahead and add it in, you can add it in to add, add a little bit more of a subtle look. I think in this particular case, I'm gonna go for about 80% here, but as you can see, I really like this shot. I think it looks really nice and works really well with portrait photos. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you the before and after. So on the left-hand side is before, and on the right-hand side is after. And as you can see, it adds this real nice soft glow to it. And with that fog, it works, I think, really well for like kind of more rural kind of portrait photos, maybe in the forest or even in a field. So go give it a go and see if it works for you. Here is the before and here is the after.